Hey guys, John Singleton here, head coach of the program. I am here in Barcelona in La Huela CrossFit. I'm very lucky to be joined by Reika. And in this video today, we are going to be looking at how to do chest to bar pull-ups. Now, I know there's a lot of you gonna be watching this video who are like, well, what is this? This isn't a pull-up. However, this type of pull-up is what's used in CrossFit competitions. And when done correctly, can be extremely effective. You are able to get through lots more repetitions. You're able to hold a higher heart rate because you're using the rhythm of the body. And when done safely and correctly, it's, it's absolutely no harm to the body. However, to get started, there are some prerequisites that we recommend. The first prerequisite is going to be that you're actually able to do a simple, strict pull-up. So Rake's just gonna hop up onto the bar. Going to go through, up and down. So you can see, and just relax. So you can see Rega clearly has the ability to do a simple strict pull up, has the strength. And what I would say is that if you don't have the strength to do this, um, then I wouldn't worry about going on to these next drills um, for the chest bar pull up, because actually you're going to get more benefit from building the baseline strength. So as you will have seen in our pull-up tutorial, the chest bar and the butterfly, or butterfly chest bar and butterfly pull-up are very similar. However, there are some key differences as we start to go through. The prerequisites, however, are the same. So what we're gonna do now is start with what we call our kip swing. So rigs and jump up again. And in essence, we've got two positions. Uh, the first one's the hollow. The second one is the arch. And if you go backwards and forwards between these two positions, this is in essence our kip swing, and it forms the foundation of, in essence, the large majority of gymnastics we have in CrossFit. Nice, and relax. So this is stage one, our kip swing. What we're now gonna do is start to apply some upper body strength alongside the kip swing, and we're gonna go into what we call a kipping pull-up. This is kind of like a old school CrossFit kipping pull-up, and we very much use the positions of the hollow and the arch to get there. So let's just do three kipping pull-ups. Nice. Okay, now the thing that you should notice is that really all we're doing is using the positions, hollow arch, hollow arch, and then just engaging the upper body when needed. But because Rake has the momentum, the pull-up partial becomes easier, therefore she'll be able to do more reps like so. Okay. The next thing we're gonna introduce, um, just to make sure we've got control over the movement, is actually a kipping pull up with a pause. So Ray's gonna hop up, and she's gonna do three reps again, but this time with a slight pause in the top position. Just one second. Pause, and then back down, nice. Pause. Okay, cool. So this is just like a little bit more advanced than uh, traditional kipping pull-up. It just shows you have a bit more control at the top of the movement. The next rule we're gonna come on to starts to really develop what we come into our butterfly, which is the, the classic movement of the CrossFit pull-up, butterfly pull-up, and also what you need to be able to achieve for um, a chest to bar. So race and jump up once again. And she's just gonna go into the top of the kipping pull-up and hold that position. Now you're just slowly gonna come down and back. Okay, that was good. So this is actually one of the most um, important things for building up the shoulder health. The big difference when we start to go into the butterfly pull-ups is what you'll notice is that the body actually comes in front of the bar. When we're typically doing pull-ups, we stay behind, the body's just pulling up and down. However, in this movement here, in the butterfly, you'll notice the body comes forward and that can expose the shoulder a little bit. So in this drill, we're just making sure, first of all, the athlete has the capacity to do that. So Rake's gonna go up again and she's just once again gonna slowly do an eccentric, or the eccentric portion of the pull-up, go down into the bottom position and then just gently come back into to the hollow. Yeah, so uh, jump up, kipping pull-up up. Nice, and now as you see, as she, uh, she goes down, very nice, she comes into that arch body and back to the hollow. It looks very simple, but it's actually quite challenging for, for most athletes. They don't necessarily move in front of the bar. So 
This is one for you to try, but maybe film yourself when doing this one, just to make sure that you can, um, you can do it well. Okay, now, as long as we have all of these movements down, this is when we would start going on to our rhythm drill. So the big thing about the butterfly is that there's a lot of technique, it's not just about the strength. And this rhythm drill is probably the easiest way to start to understand the techniques that you need. So we're gonna use a box and an athlete. Luckily we have both, <laughs> yeah? So um, I would suggest, uh, you, you can go through. So if you've not done the rhythm drill before, I'd actually suggest starting with just the kipping pull-up to get the feel of it. So we're just gonna do, uh, if you just demo the, the kipping pull-up with the rhythm drill, just, just three reps. So as you can see, in essence, the leg does the majority of the work so you can focus on the positions. Now, if we go into a butterfly pull-up, this really starts to help people understand where the body should be. And because I don't have to worry about um, the strength and holding on, I can use my leg. It can start to help the body understand what it should be doing. So we go through in this, nice. And just relax again. And then we'll just go through once more. And this time what I want to do is actually do um, a little bit of a, a jump as well. So just to, to get that rhythm in. There we go. Okay, nice. So this is our um, kipping or our butterfly rhythm drill. And what we actually see is that I would actually recommend if you're starting out to have a higher box. So here we've got the box at 30 inches and we're on one of the lower pull-up bars. The kind of further the distance from the box to the bar, the harder the drill is. So you can actually make the rhythm drill harder or easier depending on the, the distance between the two. And now what we are going to do is go from um, just our normal uh, butterfly rhythm drill into our chest to bar. So now because the distance increases, what we will find is that uh, Rake has to use the legs a little more to get that height. So just, just five, we'll go five reps. Okay. Now, the reason that I really like this drill is it allows you to correct things in a way that um, isn't too tiring on the body. Obviously, when we're doing lots of repetitions of chest to bar, it can get quite hard on the shoulders and the hands, especially if you're learning. Whereas using a drill like this can really allow you to accumulate reps, understand the movement, understand the positioning, whilst not being as taxing on the body. So finally, what we're gonna to do to finish this off, and this is what we do with our athletes who are building through, is we're gonna go in just a, like ascending pyramid in essence. So we're gonna go one rep, rest, two reps, rest, three reps, rest, four, and then uh, for the video, we'll probably just take it to three, but what we usually do is take it all the way up to five reps. So we're gonna go back onto here now, just into the chest to bar. Um, so if you just, go, you're gonna go one chest to bar, so you're gonna, Jump up, chest to bar, and then you're gonna try and finish back in hollow body. Nice. So that's the one. Um, now we're gonna start to cycle. So we're gonna go into two reps. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna go up to three. And relax. And then what we'd recommend is start to take that up to up to five. One of the reasons we do this drill is because by putting um, a pause in each time, it allows you to correct. As we're gonna look at in one of the next videos, the, one of the common errors is people start to swing and move around. And by breaking the movement each time, it allows you to develop the correct positions and the correct rhythm. So, thank you for watching. If you found the video useful, um, like and subscribe and uh, we'll keep bringing you content.